viewers thank you for joining us here we want to find the value of x in this exponential equation the first thing we need to do here is to divide both sides by 4 raised to the power x so let's divide both sides with 4 raised to the power x we have divide by 4 raised to the power x by 4 raised to the power x and divide by 4 raised to the power x so on this side this cancel each other and what we have left here is 1 on this side then we can rewrite this side as 3 squared divided by 2 squared then all raised to power x minus here we can write this as 6 over 4 then bring out the power since they have the same power from the law of indices and from there we have equals to 1 left here so from here, we can see that this can be written as 3 over 2 raised to power 2. When we bring out the common power, then raised to power x, then minus. From here, we can divide by 2, and we have 3 over 2 left, then raised to power x equals to 1. So we reduce this one by dividing by 2. And from there, also, this power, since they multiply, we can change it, bringing x inside and taking 2 outside. And when we do that, we have 3 over 2, then raised to power x, so all raised to power 2 now, so minus 3 over 2, raised to power x, then equals to 1. So we can see that we have 3 over 2 raised to the power x. We can use a letter to represent that. Let 3 over 2 raised to the power x be equals to y. So that we replace that with y and we have y squared minus y equals to 1. And by the time we bring that one to this side, we have y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0 so we solve a quadratic equation here whereby our a is 1 our b is minus 1 and our c is also minus 1 from here so we have y equals to minus b plus or minus that's minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of b squared that's minus 1 square minus 4 a c a is 1 c is minus 1 then all over 2 a 2 times 1 that's 2 and by the time we look at this this will give us y equals to here we have plus 1 that's 1 minus times minus that's 1 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square that will be 1 the minus times minus is plus that's plus 4 then over 2 and y equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 so we have two solutions here one is plus and one is minus then we have y equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or y equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 here we have we don't have a solution here because our y is 3 over 2 raised to power x so since this is negative here we reject this one so no solution here no solution for this so we take this now when we work with that place our y as 3 over 2 raised to power x and this will be 3 over 2 raised to power x equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and from here we can take the log on both sides when we take the log on both sides we have log 3 over 2 then raised to power x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 and from here now we can see from here that we can apply law of logarithm here this s can come to the back and from there we have x log 
3 over 2 equals to log let's still leave this one as 1 plus root 5 over 2 so let's introduce base 3 over 2 on both sides and when we introduce base 3 over 2 on both sides we have x log 3 over 2 then to base 3 over 2 on this side and also log 1 plus root 5 over 2 also to base 3 over 2 on this side then from the law of logarithm when we have a log a then base a this will be 1 this will be 1 so we can call that log 3 over 2 base 3 over 2 as 1 and this will now be x multiplied by 1 here equals to here we can also write it as log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then divided by log 3 over 2 from law of logarithm and from there this is just x will now be equals to here we can separate this since they divide we can separate it into two log that they be subtracted that's 1 plus root 5 then minus log 2 now applying law of logarithm also what we have in the denominator that will be log 3 minus log 2 and this is our solution to that problem so thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now